10 reasons that women should build residual income in 2024. If you're new here, click the subscribe button. I'm going to be coming out with new content every week. So in a world where women are consistently more than ever shattering the glass ceilings, the concept of building residual income is the key to establishing financial freedom and career flexibility. And more and more women are looking for that these days for multiple reasons. But I'm going to talk about the reasons why women should go for it and build residual income. So the number one is to break out of the nine to five shackles. So it's, you know, rigid schedules, sitting in traffic, all of that is just becoming an old paradigm, really and women are fed up with it. So residual income offers that flexibility and it also empowers that uh, family, more time with family, the balance, work, um, self-care, self-loving, and uh, personal pursuits that you can do um, effortlessly with working outside of the nine to five if you're working from home and you control your own schedule, you're just able to meet your needs on a, in a deeper way. And women are craving that more than ever. Um, so that's number one. Number two is to unleash your entrepreneurial spirit, which is more natural for the wild feminine that's coming out in all ways. Um, residual income allows you to tap into that prowess, your creativity, that wildness without the risks of that are associated with traditional uh, business startups. Um, you know, it's, it's like having your own business without the headaches, without the stress, and you're able to focus on what really matters to you. And this is especially important um, now more than ever. The third one is to diversify your income streams, which I recommend that for everyone, no matter who you are. Uh, why settle for just one income source when you have several? You know, you can have several, you can set up a residual income that provides an opportunity to diversify, reducing your financial vulnerability and opening doors for new possibilities. So, you know, for me, I, have just, I've ended up losing a job because of health reasons, um, several actually, where I got so sick that I wasn't able to go back to that job and I couldn't control that outcome. You know, I've had other situations where I chose to invest in a company and it didn't survive the, you know, long haul. So, um, and then all of my financial assets were in this one place. So I've done that several times and finally realized, you know what, I think I want to do things a little differently and I want to have multiple sources of income so that, you know, say in my coaching business, when I had these, you know, the dry spells or the valleys, I had other income streams. Um, or, you know, if I was working someplace, but I needed a flexible schedule, like what happened to me, my mom needed help and I had to jump and run. And so I was in a different state. So I had to make the choice, you know, it's my mom, she needs me. No one uh, besides my sister is there and able to do this, but I can't be in two places at one time. So I ended up losing my income because I had to, I wanted to choose family. And so, so many times women have this choice that they have to make. And um, it's a tough decision if you only have one income source. Uh, another story is that I have a friend that was in the medical industry as a nurse and moved up, you know, throughout her career. And then her husband lo lost his job and all of his income. And then she got laid off unexpectedly out of the blue. And so her whole career that she had put everything into, that was her main income, only income source. And then it was gone and her husband's was gone before that. So they were both sitting there looking at, you know, what are we gonna do? Our income sources have come to 
an end. So diversifying your income streams is just wise. Um, number four is the work-life integration, not balance. So this elusive work-life balance is replaced with a work-life integration, which just feels so much better to me. I don't know about you if that resonates, but residual income models let you seamlessly weave your profession and your personal life and create a harmony instead of um, juggling and compartmentalizing. And uh, for me personally, it is melt, it is meant the world to have that deeper fulfillment in being able to combine the two, you know, instead of just having, I, I mean, I just don't like that feeling of having to separate things um, so dramatically and you feel like you're two different people. And so that it's been this, this is a beautiful integration for myself. And the number five is to build a financial safety net. So residual income, I mean, that's what most people think about when you say residual income is they have that safety net. So, you know, it acts as a reliable safety net. It's your financial cushion for unseen circumstances. So I just talked about, you know, a few of those that happened personally to me and to other people. So you're ensuring that you're prepared for whatever life, you know, throws at you. And we've all been through something on a global scale that we didn't see coming and that we all had to adapt to. And people who had that safety net cushion set up or they were able to adapt very quickly um, they they were okay during that time. The people that weren't, they got shut down, locked down, and they, you know, some people took their lives because it was too much. So we don't ever want to be put in that situation for ourselves. So you really want to plan for a future that's uncertain and unstable. And I really got hit just back to back to back to back with situations that I didn't see coming. And I was, I did have multiple income streams at that time. And so I was able to make it, but there were, there was a time where I really hit bottom because I um, didn't see the health situation that was gonna happen to me. So anyway, I've talked about that before. So anyway, you want to take your power back. As a woman, especially, you want to um, establish something that's going to give you that I'll be okay no matter what feeling and uh, reality. So the sixth reason is to elevate your wealth building game. So stop merely earning paycheck to paycheck and start building wealth. Residual income allows you to accumulate because when you have something that's coming in regularly every month or every week and you can count on it, then it builds up your wealth over time. You, you don't have to think about it. It's just coming in while you're doing something else and it provides a path to your financial prosperity. And so it just grows and grows and grows. Um, and that feels really good. You know, when you're so accustomed to living paycheck to paycheck and it never quite pays everything you need, it's difficult to get out of fight or flight. So wealth building and knowing that you're building this wealth over here helps you get out of fight or flight, relax your nervous system and get back to being who you are naturally. And that's so important. And so number seven, empowerment through financial independence. So to achieve true independence by taking control of your finances. Uh, residual income empowers you to make decisions based on your goals, your aspirations, your heart's desires, your mission, your calling, not financial constraints or limitations. So that's a huge change personally. 
And I, again, I believe that this is so crucial for women right now to, to take control of their finances more than ever and create something for themselves that they're able to get back to their heart's mission and what's truly calling them, their true calling. So, um, yeah. All right. And so number eight is to break that glass ceiling. Like I was talking about to be your own boss, lady bosses. Um, you can navigate corporate ladders when you, you know, but you're never going to get where you are ultimately fulfilled. And I've talked to so many people who have climbed that ladder in corporate. They got to a ceiling and they weren't able to go any further. Or maybe they did get just beyond where they thought they could, but there's not that satisfaction because it's you're, ultimately, you're not your own boss and you want to ultimately break free from all of that and be your own boss. Um, and, you know, you're allowing, when, when you're in a corporate situation, what I noticed and what I experienced is that you're allowing things that you wouldn't allow in your personal life. So you're not setting those boundaries and you're allowing a little less integrity seep in because you're going by someone else's rules and they're telling you what to do and if they're not in integrity but they're your boss then a lot of times it's just easier to just go with it but then you feel that inside so I think that's one of the biggest things that um the biggest reason why I think it's important to be your own boss is to because you can be in that full alignment and that in your own integrity and no one else is going to um set that for you so number nine is to leave a legacy for your future generations. Residual income isn't just about securing your own pres your present or you know your future, but it's about leaving a lasting legacy when you're not here anymore for for generations to come or for your loved ones or for you know friends that you dearly love and you want to help them. I mean. It can be your choice. You can create a financial foundation that echoes through time so that um, you feel like you've left something of value here. And I think that that's incredibly important when you really get beyond fight or flight and then you get into contributing to others, then you get into contributing to the community and then the world. And then globally, you really get to a place where you want to leave some type of legacy that people will continue to benefit from. So uh, number 10 is to embrace financial freedom, true financial freedom. So ultimately the goal is to be ultimately free on all levels and residual income offers that ticket to a life where you dictate the terms, you make the choices, based on your passion and you get to enjoy um, everything that comes from that. And so um, if you want to travel, if that's your passion, you get to decide when, how long, you know, um, I've gotten the most out of traveling when I can stay half a month or a month or several months. But, you know, what kind would you be able to do that if you're working for someone else? Would, would you be able to just go, I'm going to go take a month in um, Bali. I'm going to go for three months to India. You know, they would say, uh, no, <laughs> no. You know, there are some people that would might say take a leave of absence, but it just doesn't work out in the same way as having your own freedom. And the other thing is that when you do have the ultimate financial freedom, you can still do work from wherever you are. And so that's what what I decided to set my life up as is that life that I don't have to take a vacation from. So even when I'm on vacation, I can still work. That can be my work. And that's how I choose to live. So you want to just be able to live your life without constraints. And that is what true residual income 
leading to true financial freedom does for you. Um, so if you, if you're ready, if you're listening to this and it resonates with you and it's, you feel like it's time for you to take action, then I'm going to extend an invitation to you for the opportunity that I'm doing that checks all those boxes. It's live good. It's a $10 membership club and it's the epitome of uh, residual income done right, basically. And you can transform your entire financial future. You can break through the barriers. You can embrace a life that you truly love coming from your heart and your mission. And you can help others in a huge way and be an, a huge impact positively helping people uh, get healthy, stay healthy, and create a life for themselves that is going to break through into that financial freedom that everyone craves on the inside, even if they're afraid of it. So I am going to put a link under this video. You just click that link, watch the five minute video, sign up and get started with this as soon as possible. I mean, we are projected to be at 1 million members this year and that's huge. And so this is going viral. It is the biggest, fastest growing disruptor of the industry in the world. And I am super excited about it. And I wanna see you have these benefits that I've been experiencing for now almost a year and it's changed everything. So it's changing lives and it can change yours today.